Back at six with updates from across the region. I hope you can join me then. Until then, though, whatever you're doing, enjoy your afternoon. Bye bye. And welcome to Monday's program. Good evening. Parts of a popular. Well, for more on this, let's join our political correspondent, David Wood. So, um, David, what's the government doing about this? Impromptu mass gatherings seem to be a bit of a growing problem, whether it's an illegal rave or, like last night, a, a car rally. Yeah, you're right, Carly. They certainly. See you're watching ITV News here in the West Country and there's plenty more still to come tonight before half past six, including we'll have all your on people pre-booking. But there's been a growing number of people failing to show up and the no-shows are costing businesses here in the Southwest dearly, especially as in the new challenges they face from the COVID pandemic. Our ambulance charities across our region, such as Wiltshire our Ambulance, all... Now, just a quick reminder that we're on the lookout for the ITV West Country Fundraiser of the Year to represent our region at this year's Daily Mirror Pride of Britain Awards. Here's Alex Wood with details of how to nominate. Now it's time to get the uh, weather forecast and Charlie's live at the Met Office for us this evening. And Charlie, a big storm on Friday, but there's another one on the way. And this one is important because it's got a name, Storm Francis. Yeah, that's right. And it could end up being a little... So, Charlie, we're nearly at the end of August, can you believe it? Um, any chance of the summer coming back for the start of September? Oh, we often see it, don't we? Um, the signals are mixed, really. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I'll hold on to that. OK, Charlie, thanks very much. Now, just before we go, a reminder of the main headline in the West. It's for you at the usual time of 10.30. Now I'll hand you to Charlene White as the ITV News continues. Bye-bye.